what you see here is the rear view of the Gazera F10 and LP1 gas analyzer. I will now show you the electrical and gas connections of the instrument. On the right, you can see the mains connector for power cord, mains power switch, and fuse holder. Over here is the connector for the Ethernet. In this slot you can place the PCMCIA card, for example for Wi-Fi or other applications, USB connector and two serial ports for digital data transfer or, or, or for analog output module. The gas connectors are located over here. Both connectors have a fuse holder, so you can open the holder and what you see inside is a filter for particles. So those filters are changeable. The connectors on top of uh, filter holders can be either push-in type or snap-in type or you can choose swage lock connectors depending on your application. If you are using push-in type connectors you simply push the gas tubing inside the connector. Releasing the tubing can be done by pushing in the locker and, and locking mechanism and pulling out the tube. For outgoing gas there is an additional gas connector, non-filtered, and the instrument which has a pump inside exhales the gas through that connector. The fourth gas connector is for purging. You can use, for example, nitrogen or other inert gas to flush the interior of the cabinet for sensitive measurement. And finally, during transport, you can lock in the system or when in the operational mode, you can release the locking with the lever over here. You just pull out and release the lever. And now the instrument is in operational mode. And while going into transport mode, again, you turn the lever.